welcome back to a shared meal let's jump right into it fellas let's say you're out with the homies or you're by yourself and you approach a woman she says she has a boyfriend or she's not interested before you get a chance to introduce yourself better yet you get her phone number and hopes to set up a date you get her up no response no reply no nothing i'm sure you've experienced this so she rejected you so what Here's what you do moving forward when approaching a woman. Remain stoic and indifferent. This does a few things. For one, it could minimize anxiety. With no expectation of a particular outcome, it could make the approach easier, especially if she's giving you choosing signals. Don't become outcome dependent. I can't stress that enough. When you approach a woman, do so confidently, but with no expectation of what's going to happen. Women can see the nervousness seeping through the interaction. Remain stoic and introduce yourself. Next, humble your level of excitement. Could you be enraptured talking to this attractive woman? Sure, but have a silent confidence about yourself. This means your actions, appearance, and behavior speak louder than your actual words. Don't act as if you've never spoken to a woman before. Come on, dog. She's human just like the rest of us. Y'all ever see that dude that got rejected and his ass is uh, having a conniption fit? Starts calling her names all because he didn't get what he wanted? Bro, what are you mad for? You barely knew this person. The problem is you've already invested too much emotion to a stranger. That's why you feel this way. And for what? Because she stopped talking to you? Because she didn't give you your number? Get over it, my guy. Listen. You gotta understand, when you're talking to women, assume they're already engaging with at least three to five other dudes. I would argue there's more, but I'm willing to bet those dudes are in the friend zone. You have at least one or two guys who have her full attention and more than likely blowing her back out. She wants to be with at least one of them, but they're keeping it casual, of course, while still getting boxed. Then you have the other guys who hit her up with good morning texts, desperately waiting to take her out to lunch or dinner, while simultaneously accepting their turn at rejection, yet again. Tell me I'm lying. I mean, I've experienced this. Please comment down below if you have as well. Being on the on-call dude dropping off eggplant at 12, 1 in the morning when she wants to gush, but also seeing her behavior to the other guys that she's disqualified. I'm not gonna cap. I've been on the other side as well, facing rejection. It happens, but I'll tell you what, I'm not about to be sitting on the back burner hoping for some miracle opportunity to appear. We're not waiting for women over here, never. Fellas, I encourage you to practice indifference daily until it becomes second nature. I know I have. Also, look into stoicism. There's a tranquility in only responding to events within our control, be it good or bad. Otherwise, you'll be inundated with unnecessary emotions. When it comes to rejection, something I used to do is remind myself of a few different things. For one, I didn't know her that well. I mean, I know she was attractive, she looks good from across the room, but again, I'm not overly investing in any kind of stranger. Next, do I really want someone who displays low interest? Most certainly not. If she's not interested, leave it be. No convincing, no persuading, just keep it moving. And lastly, does it matter? I'm not really. There's more women on the earth than there are men. Don't sweat this inconsequential past. On to the next one, bro. Being indifferent doesn't mean you don't care. It means you have identified the outcome and you've chosen to be unbothered by it as it doesn't benefit you. Again, let's just use common sense here, people. Let's not fret over something that we didn't have much control over in the first place. What did Drake say? Being humble don't work as well as being aware. Now the next time you approach a woman and she curves you, brush it off. If you're taking care of yourself and you know you're this shit, ask yourself does it really matter in the first place? You have no obligation to this person. You just thought she looked good from a distance. And honestly, I would argue the curve says more about her than it does you. Don't be outcome dependent. Practice indifference and move on. All right, y'all, it's been real. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed today's conversation. Subscribe to the channel and leave your experiences down below. I'll catch y'all in the next one.